YouTube, it's Bebop307 here, and welcome back to Niche and the Reloxy Tribe! I know, it's been, it feels like it's been absolutely ages since we've seen these guys, and I knew I was gonna end up coming back to them because I really, really, really adore them. And it just, it's so nice to just kind of have a really peaceful tribe with no real goal, no rules, etc. I mean, there's sort of rules but each nicheling like has their own rules it's kind of just like whatever they want to do they do it ah oh it's so nice to have these guys oh my goodness and i'm so excited because we have a little berina and we will hopefully be able to have some wonderful berina babies with them and i'm so excited i have never really been able to breed and get any of those genes and i really really hope we can so oh gosh just so excited but let's do a quick reintroduction since it has been a little while. We have Demarcus. He is father to the very lovely Ami and the very lovely Tasmania. And uh, they're, they're just having fun. He's their dad. He just helps out whenever he can. And then Amy is sick. She and, um, she and her aunt, Deer, are hunters. I find it kind of ironic that Deer is a hunter. But she is. She really likes hunting things. And Amy... Rami has just kind of been following after her and uh, helping out where she can because she wants to be helpful. She doesn't just want to be that, that sick nicheling that it tags along behind everybody. And Blueberry, as usual, is unbelievably obsessive over her berry bushes. Jakudo and uh, his mate Tabby are having some kiddos. We have little, little Hori here. And let's see. Right, he's actually really healthy, so, hmm, hmm, I don't know what he wants with, uh, what we'll want for his kids, but we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move everybody around, so the second this guy grows up, we are going to have to have, 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 have somebody breed with him, and I'm so excited, oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But Amy, since she doesn't necessarily need to go and help defend us against an evil carnivore anymore, she's going to help out um, Egg over here with her mission of clearing out all of this grass. Egg has a mission to totally get rid of it all. So I imagine before we move islands, we're going to have to make sure every little bit's cleared, excluding the growing grass. But we do have a pairing here, and since Takuro is so old, we're going to go ahead and let them have another baby. That Kravitz being really rude, by the way. But she's going to set down her nest, and he'll crack up some acorns. Can he? Um, yeah, he's just happy. Happy cracking up acorns and happy to have his own little family right here. And we've moved everybody. So we're going to go ahead, zoom in, and see what Tabby's second kiddo is going to be. Please be healthy. It's a little girl! Oh, Amy, you poor thing. That's a little girl, and she looks like chocolate! Oh, that's so cute! Okay, we need to scroll. I'm stuck on a huge list of female names. Okay, so Yuki, which I find kind of ironic because Yuki, um, I, I, Yuki, I think Yuki means snow in Japanese. I'm not sure. It's been a while, but, uh, that's kind of ironic because she looks more like chocolate, but, hmm. <gasps> Fidget! Fidget's such a cute one! Oh, I want to name her Fidget. We're going to name her Fidget. So we have little Fidget, and she's unbelievably adorable. She's a chocolate. She's just a chocolate. Look, even her eyes are brown. Oh my word, she's so cute. She does have hemophilia, res hemophilia recessives. Hmm, I don't know if we can fight against that yet. No, we can't. So we're still not uh, close enough to really be improving on that. Hmm. But they're going to have more babies, and we will get to them in just a second here. I think uh, Blueberry is going to really s just quickly swipe up her berries because she doesn't like the fact that there's a crab at there threatening them. Those are her berries, and if it dare... Dare even try to go after her berries? It is in a lot of trouble. Good job, Demarcus. Can you get more? Whoa! Whoa! Demarcus, what the heck, buddy? I didn't know you could do that. Just 
gathering up all those worms? Since when were you talented at- what, Since when could you feed from the bottom? But Egg, on the other hand, she wants to work on clearing out all of this grass and she's just kind of going around this little baby carnivore. And Deer, who is so suspicious right now, she is working on this way. Oh hey, she found another berry bush. And so, you know what, since I highly doubt that Blueberry would appreciate um, oh, actually before, I don't know if he can, I think Blueberry, I think Tasmania is going to just swipe from Blueberry's bush. And then he's going to run away. He's going to run away so that you can't get him. There's some more berry bushes up here, so I think Tasmania will claim those for himself. But, uh, Amy is going to go further into the grass and try her best to help her, um, her Aunt A clear out the grass. And I don't know if she'll be able to breed with anyone. If we go to our family mutations, we can see everybody that has immunity C, and I don't know if there's really a possibility for her to... Yeah, I think every male has immunity C, um, and Hori is a little too young. Hori is a little too young. I think that she might actually end up passing away before she can... before she could breed with Hori. So, she can't breed with him, and, uh, let's go back to Nojin. So she can't breed with him, which is kind of sad, but uh, Tabby's going to swipe at that crab it really fast, and then her son, Hori's going to go over here, she's going to sit here, she's going to breed with Demarcus again, and then I think she would be very happy to try and crack some more acorns, but uh, at the moment it's just, it's just Dakuto, just Dakuto, and his lovely daughter Fidget. I'm not sure what they want to do. I'm not sure what they want to do, but I think we've moved everybody, so we have another lovely little baby to look forward to. And I cannot wait for we like for us to be able to breed with this uh, carnivore here. Friendly Bearina. I think I named him Bob. I think I named him Bob. So we I can't wait to breed with Bob here. Oh, it's gonna be so great to have some Bearina hybrid babies. And actually, he and Deer might be able to breed. That would be really cute, and maybe I could let Amy go ahead and breed with him as well. So that's not a bad idea. So let's see, oh, there we go. Hello, lovely. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and clear this away. That too. And pass the turn. <gasps> what? What? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my goodness, okay, let's scroll again. Let's see. Radita, Radita! Oh, that's kind of, that's adorable. Okay. Okay, I'll name her Radita. That's cute, but guys, look at how cute she is. She also has hemophilia recessive though, so we do want to be careful about that. But look at, oh, look at the little one around her eye. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. What is this? What combo is this? Um, she has dots, pattern shape C, medium pattern and very thick density oh it's so cute oh my word that is so cute that is so cute so we're gonna be naming her rat uh ratata since that was the first one i saw maybe i should do ratatat is that ratatat ratata i feel like ratatat might be a little easier for me to say so we're gonna go ahead and do ratatat actually so we have ratatat right here and she is so cute. Oh, she's so lovely. I love her so much. But let's go ahead. Let's zoom out. Is our Barina friend still around? No, it looks like he ran off. But he... Is he grown up? Oh, he's just over here by Demarcus. Aw, maybe he and Demarcus are kind of getting a little bit of a bond here. Maybe, maybe DeMarcus gi is, is giving some fatherly advice to Bob. Maybe he's trying to teach him some things. Aw, oh, that would be so cute. So it looks like they're hanging out together. And, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love how cute that is. So Bob has uh, gone over to DeMarcus for some fatherly advice. We have a... <gasps> oh my gosh, what a Anala! Oh, FMG, and oh my goodness, I think Blueberry is going to invite her so that she doesn't steal. Oh my goodness, you took, you took her berries. Okay, Anala, I just gotta let you know, that's not the best thing to do. Okay, that is not the best thing to do to, um, 
to her berry bush, okay? You do not take her berries. Trust me, you don't. Oh, looks like that breeding failed. Breed! Breed! There we go, that took a bit. Alright, your son, Hori, is just gonna help you out, Dakudo. We have tons of bunnies over here. Bunnies! Actually, egg, collect a bit of grass. Darn it, it went off. She's gonna dig in the roots and collect even more grass. And her sister, Deer, is just gonna hop on the bunnies! Because she is a hunter, and I think she might, um, unbeknownst to herself, be showing off to Bob quite how strong and fierce she is. But uh, Tasmania over here is going to get this bunny, and also this bunny. I think he might start developing a taste for hunting as well. It is very rewarding. And I would send Amy over here, but she would get him sick. So I think instead she'll just swipe up this bunny that uh, came right out to her. We are getting overwhelmed by bunnies, like really overwhelmed. But uh, Inala is going to very cautiously scoot away. Actually, can she breed with <gasps> Inala and Hori? Oh my gosh, that's so cute! But um, she's going to very cautiously scoot away. Just very, very, just quietly scoot away from Blueberry and her territorial bush area because she doesn't want to get in trouble. She's like, I didn't mean to. They're your bushes. They're your bushes. I'm sorry. I'll just, I'll just go. I'll just go. Sorry about that. And it's just. Oh gosh, it's so cute. Ah, uh, Blueberry is such a territorial little ding-dong. And now that she's getting so old, I wonder if she might start planning on like giving her berry bushes to one of her relatives so that she kind of has an heir to the berry bush. But uh, let's go ahead and let's, let's get a little closer with these guys. Hello! And pass the turn again. And it's a lovely little boy! Who, who got... Somebody got sick. I mean, I know we... Oh! Show... Oh, it was you? Aww. Uh, why don't you actually collect up that bunny meat? Oh. There's a bunny there. Hmm. Actually, you know what? She is going to go over here, swipe this, and collect this, and then I think that Tasmania is actually going to come over and clean your wounds. Because Deer is too obsessed with hunting to really realize that, hey, you might need help. But he has hemophilia. What? What? Who is hemophilia? I saw a hemophilia sign. Oh, maybe that's just for bleeding. Okay. But, uh, our friendly Barina has yet to grow up, so we're still waiting on that. But we have a very handsome chocolate bar right here. Why do they all look like chocolate? They all look like chocolate. And the first name I saw was Quill, so we're gonna go ahead and name this one Quill. So he definitely has an elegant air about him. Very, very... What? What? What is with all these rogues? Colossi? What the heck? Oh my goodness. Hori! Invite her! What the heck? You just stole all of our food, too. Rude. She's so gorgeous, though! She has orange markings! What the heck? What are these? You have- oh, you have brown patterns. Let me look at you. What do you think you're doing, lady? What do you think you're doing? Aww, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love her! I love her! She's beautiful! So we have yet another random wanderer showing up, and I- I think some of our Reloxy members are going to be a little confused. Like, where are all you- where are all of you coming from? We've cleared away all the grass, how did you even show up here? But, uh, we have her, and I think she might try to, um, crack a nut. And Ratatat is going to scoot over, she's scaring the mole. And I think her mother's gonna swipe the mole. And then she's gonna sit here so that, uh, Dukuro can breed with her. And then he'll crack his nut. He'll crack his nut, and I think he'll just try to dig this time. And he got a root. Wow. Good job. And his daughter is going to grab up that mole meat that her mother caught. And her mother might start working on cracking acorns again, too. Because she really does like cracking the acorns. That's uh, that's what she and Dakuro bonded over at, uh, at first for anyway. So I think she might want to get back into that. But uh, lovely little blueberry is going to try and gather up 
all of her berries as usual as she still is like contemplating compla, compla, what was I trying to say? As she still is contemplating who takes over and honestly I think she might like fidget spunk so she might try to convince little fidget to take over her auntie's berry bush because uh, she has that special berry bush gathering gene or just air about her which is really ridiculous but I think she just took a liking to her but egg and oh my goodness they're a bunny can you get there she can't hmm I don't think Demarcus would have enough strength to get the bunny but he might try but at the same time I think he's fine not trying so he's fine staying here and being a sort of mentor to Bob and our lovely little um little rogue or wanderer Anala here is going to clear up everything this way and Egg is very very happy to see how much of the grass we've cleared away and I think she's definitely just I think I think uh, they wouldn't be able to leave unless they cleared all of the non-growing grass out she would be very frustrated very frustrated if they left otherwise but wow what is with this? Colossi, you are so ridiculous. You are so ridiculous. And it seems that we're not really getting new genes either. Like if I look at you, you have F and G. Oh my goodness. I can't get over how beautiful oh, Ratatat is. She's so cute. But we're going to pass the turn one more time. And we have another Meechling. And it looks like Bob grew up. Bob, 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 you grew up. We're gonna have to breed with Bob really, really fast. But, ooh, Rotaduke, oh, that's so cute. He is gorgeous too. You guys have such gorgeous, shiny children. I really like Rotaduke. Rotaduke, he has perfect blood clotting, he has good eyesight, and actually, um, Jumper. That's a cute one. We're gonna name him Jumper. He definitely seems like he'd be hyper. So we've got little Jumper here, and hmm. Hmm, I like him. I like his brown eyes and his really creamy colored fur. But Deer is going to know- is he grown up? Is he? I thought for a second that he was. Um, he might not be. What if you- can you- no, you can only smack him. Okay, never mind, he's not grown up. I thought Bob was grown up. I was hopeful that Bob had grown up, but he has not. Now, um, Tasmania is taking possession of these berry bushes right now, and I think Demarcus will help gather from these, but I also think he's going to come over here and gather from this bunny meat. And now that that's done, right now Anala is just kind of leisurely gathering up acorns, helping Egg clear out the grass, and Egg is going to work like crazy on clearing out the grass because it is her last day and she and Amy have been kind of close and she's been chewing her best to help clear out all of the grass for Egg and I think I think Amy would feel very happy to know how helpful she's been but uh, speaking of helpful I think oh there's a bunny but I think for the first time ever Blueberry will consent to letting another Nietzscheling gather from her berry bush. Fidget, you are the chosen one. Maybe it's because you're just such a solid chocolate color. Maybe. Maybe that's why uh, Blueberry likes you, because it's just so adorable. But alright, we have quite a few babies over here, and I think Tabby might have one more. One more baby, and Colossi, can she and Hori breed? Yeah, they can't. So, oh. Good job? I did not expect you to do that. But uh, Colossi's going to collect from this, and I think she might just try to swipe at it. She's still feeling kind of unsure, like, what? What? Why? How did... Hi, how am I here? What? And Tabby is going to try and crack this acorn, and she did it! Oh, Dukuro's going to be so proud of her. They're going to breed one more time. He'll crack his acorn, shake the tree, and... Oh, is this his last day? I think his daughter, Ratatat, is going to go ahead and gather up one more acorn just to make him smile. And I think he's going to be really proud to know that his babies, that his lovely little kiddos have done so well with um, with the acorn tracking, the cracking business. But uh, now that we've done that, we do have another baby to look forward to. 
How old is Deer? Deer still has quite a bit of life left and hopefully Bob will grow up in the next turn. But we're gonna go ahead and check on this other baby. I'm so excited. Oh, I love this tribe. <gasps> she looks like Takuro. Oh, man, Nasi. She has blindness recessive, so, so this is a relaxed tribe. We do whatever we want, but I would like to make sure we don't get to any crazy, like blind eye, two double no pied, hemophilia, and each slings. You know what I mean. But uh, we have Mia Nasi. Let's look at her. She has that dark gold fur. Oh, glorious, glorious. And she has a swimming tail. How cute. <gasps> she has stripes? Guys, they're so faint, but she has silver stripes. That is so cute. That is so adorable. Oh my word. Oh, Mianasi. You need a really good name. Um, Blossom. I like Blossom. Blossom's really cute for you. So we're gonna name Dukuro's last child Blossom. And Tabby is currently in mourning. Oh my gosh, he's grown up. He's grown up. Quick, 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 quick. Dear, you gotta do the breedings. Gotta do the breedings. Oh my word, they did it! Oh my word! Does she have stuff that I wanna fight against? Not really. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope we get the jeans. I really, really do. Deer is going to have the first ever baby from a carnivore. Oh my word, and Amy, <gasps> Amy only has a little bit of life left. Maybe if she's fast enough, she'll be able to breed with him? So I kind of would want, I don't want her getting our carnivore sick. I don't know if she can do that, but okay. Um, she could possibly get Tasmania sick. So maybe she'll just gather up from that for now and get close. So she can breed in the oh no, she's gonna oh she's gonna pass away. Never mind. She wouldn't have been able to breed anyway, but she wanted to come over and witness the first the birth of the first ever child of a carnivore. And Demarcus is clearing out the grass. So we have everybody working on clearing out the grass here because Egg has passed away. Egg has passed away and so her her goal, her journey has yet to be completed. And I'm just so happy that she managed to clear out as much as she did. And I think some of our nichelings are probably going to follow after her. Like I actually really do see Quill being quite the gentile explorer, gentle explorer. Very elegant, quaint, and dapper. He would uh, go and look at everything. And I think uh, we're going to go ahead and move little Jumper over here. And his mom is going to swipe up this. And I think she's going to try to crack that nut in memory of her mate, Dukuro. Her daughter has taken a liking to the taste of nuts. So she's going to take this over. And I don't know. I think there's only two trees on this island. So I think she'll just inherit her father's tree. And Fidget. Fidget has inherited these two bushes, um, surprisingly, from Blueberry, which is something I did not expect, but it's happening. So now that that's happening, I think Colossi and lovely, lovely little um, Hori here are just going to get to know each other. They're not going to breed, but they're going to hang out, and I think he's actually going to head off this way as well more to explore than anything else, but he might actually end up catching Anala's eye. Cause he is quite stunning and he's very sweet. So she might, um, she might be interested. But now that we've done that, I think we have moved everybody. So we have our first ever Barina baby gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be so crazy. It's gonna be so crazy. Is there anything else that I might want to encourage? Violet eyes. I really want those violet eyes. Oh my word, I don't know what else I want to encourage unless we unlock the Barina stuff. So we're gonna try to get closer and hopefully we get a Barina baby with a Barina stout and everything. You guys are gonna have so many babies. Oh my word. Passing the turn. <gasps> what? Whoa! He, he, she's so cute. <laughs> she did get the Barina.
Berenus, so she has the Berenus now. Recessive, she got the Berenus claw. She has the Berenus hind legs, recessive. And she has violet eye recessives. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. She's so gorgeous. She's so gorgeous. Oh, you blow my mind. You blow my mind. Look at her. Look at her big ears. How did you even get those? Oh, Lower. We have unlocked some awesome new stuff. I don't think we've unlocked the Berina Snout because we haven't had a baby with the Berina Snout yet. But we're going to have as many babies as we can. As many babies as we can because I really want some, some cute babies. But let's see. How strong is our lovely little lady? We'll have to check that in a second. But she got A and G. And she is six strength. Six. What the heck? She only has a medium body. And this adds two strength to fishing. This adds three strength. Oh, my word. You're so strong. You're so strong. You need a good name. Ah, we're having... Okay. Okay. You know what? No. This is going to be a bit longer of an episode because I want another Berina baby. Okay. <laughs> so, just another Berina baby. I have decided to name her Valley. It was a really cute suggestion and I think it fits how absolutely... Just magnificent she is. Oh, she's so cute. I wonder if she could breed with anybody. Let's see, can she breed with Quell? <gasps> she can. Good, I was hoping she could. I was really hoping that she could. She is adorable and dear, surprised, and very pleased with how strong her little girl is. Is going to really swiftly go breed and make another nest. So she and Bob have fallen deeply in love and now they are going to have as many babies as they can because I want Barina babies but also because they love each other and want a big family but uh, Tasmania is going to clear away more grass, gather up more berries and I think Demarcus is very very proud of Bob, glad that he's um, doing his best, trying his best and that he found love and everything, he's very happy for him and Anala is going to show off by collecting so many berries in the hopes that uh, Corey, who really in my mind I see him as being quite oblivious might notice her and coincidentally he's going to show up over here to help clear out all the grass so Anala is going to do her best to show off her wonderful talents to him and he's probably going to be very oblivious for a bit but I think Quill is kind of off searching searching for stuff and he might just might glimpse the beautiful big earness of our lovely silver Valerie Oh, not Valerie, sorry, Vali. And, oh my goodness, that's so cute. It's so cute. I think she's definitely going to be an explorer. And what I love is he actually moves pretty fast, but she is super strong. Get the bunny! So he's going to try to attack the bunny. The bunny startled him, so he, he smacked it. He smacked it. And Ratatat is, as usual, very happy to collect the acorns, but I think her mother is going to ask her if she would mind her trying and I think instead she might go ahead and swipe up this mole for her little brother to go and get. Actually, she'll collect it in the next turn. Her brother's going to shake the tree. And Blossom. I think Blossom's going to go meander. She's going to go meander and lovely little Colossi is going to stay here by her berry bushes. And she might try to collect from this one next turn. And we have another baby that we get to look forward to and Fidget. The now current owner of these two berry bushes, after inheriting them from Blueberry, is going to start becoming very defensive of them. She's not quite as defensive as Blueberry because she just kind of took them on um, in kindness to the to her old aunt, but uh, she is a little bit defensive. So unless you have a good reason, don't touch your berries. Don't, don't, just don't. Okay, unless it's desperately needed and she doesn't have enough turns to collect all of them, don't touch your berries. But okay! So, let's go ahead and let's pass the turn again. I'm so excited. <gasps> Bob, don't leave! Bob, what the heck, Bob? Oh, my word. We have Sienako. Sienako, Sienako, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, she also has the Berina snout. She has Berina claw. And Berina hind legs. Oh, gosh. She is probably as strong as her sister, right? Yes, she is. She just doesn't have the big ears. But all right, you guys, I do think that's going to be it for this episode. We had lovely little Sienako, and I actually really like her name. So I think I'm going to keep Sienako. And, uh, oh my goodness, Berina. Berina babies. Oh, it is so nice to finally be having a little Berina pairing. Oh, that's so nice. 
I'm so excited to see what other babies Deer and Bob could have together. And they are just so in love. I think I think Bob was just so impressed by Deer's strength and valor and her just constant skill with hunting the bunnies. She's dropped like so many bunnies. So many bunnies. And Bob fell in love with her. And then I think I think Deer just fell in love with his charm. He's a sweetheart. He's a ding dong. But alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed us uh, revisiting the Reloxy tribe because I did. There were, it was just so relaxed and nice. But again, I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching. But I'm going to be bumping on out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.